ahead of the 4th of July when we celebrate our nation's freedom, there's a unique opportunity happening in Greenville to give back to those who fight for our freedom. June 28th marks the 19th anniversary of the largest loss of special operations life since the Vietnam War. And to honor those lives lost, a charity documentary screening of the film Ranger will happen at the Gunter Theater. It will commemorate the 19 men who paid the ultimate sacrifice that day. And joining us today, Alex Weinbarger from the Further Faster Harder Foundation. It's a military nonprofit right here in Greenville that's presenting this very special event. We're also joined by Sergeant David Waterhouse, the special operations soldier whose story is told in this documentary, Ranger. Thank you for joining us and thank you for your service. I want to start with you, uh, Sergeant Waterhouse, and your experience um, sharing your story in this film. If you can explain to our viewers a little bit about what uh, this is and what this means to you. The main purpose for this, in all honesty, was to give my kids a war journal mm -hmm. and so that they would understand why, you know, I'm a little bit different. And one of the things that was so great about it turning triumph into tragedy, basically. And I've had so many people come out, wives, mothers, sisters, to say, wow, I, you know, I understand my son or my husband a little bit better, which was a very unexpected uh, event. I honestly, I, it was kind of for the dudes, <laughs> but uh, it was it, the overwhelming amount of support that has come out has led us to a place where we never thought we would be. We are helping veterans. We, I, we said when we first started, if we can just help one veteran, mm -hmm. then it would all be worth it. And telling the story wasn't an easy thing to do, but seeing the reaction from everybody and their family members made all of, the, all of it worth it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, it, it, it's just been incredible, the outpouring of support. Mm -hmm. And being able to connect with other veterans. Absolutely. I know that is really incredible, especially here in the upstate and I'm sure around the country. Um, and this screening here that's happening in Greenville, uh, how did that idea come to be to make this a charity screening? We opened the nonprofit to be able to continue telling more stories and we wanted to use the documentary that led to our foundation uh, as our first platform to, you know, introduce ourselves to the upstate and get people involved and see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. How is the foundation helping veterans here in our community? So our main program right now that we're working on is the Voices to, Veter uh, Voices to Veterans Documentary Scholarship uh, so we can continue telling stories such as David's. Um, we have a second one that's already released on Amazon Prime as well as Ranger mm -hmm. and we have a third one that's been completed and his name is Hector Farrell. He'll actually be at the event with us on the 28th from San Diego to to show his trailer and be able to speak about what we're doing as well. Oh, incredible. And a little bit more about that event happening on the 28th. Um, they're at the Peace Center. Just a great opportunity for people to come out to see the film, uh, to meet some of the people who have been inspired. A silent auction. Everything is going to such a fantastic cause. So if you could tell us a little bit more about what people can expect that night. So we are going to have 63 veterans at the show. We've had, we're donating or raising money for those seats to be filled, um, free of charge to the veterans. Um, like I said, Hector Farrell will be there, David will be there. Unfortunately, the director is out filming another story at, at the moment, so he's not going to be able to make it. But, um, you know, some exciting silent auction gifts to get people involved, um, see the story, you know, we'll have the books from other rangers who were on the crash site as well that they donated to us to sell for the event as well. Mm, that's incredible. And for you specifically, David, uh, to be a part of something like this in, in our community. I know you're from Boston originally, but you live here in Greenville now. Um, seeing this all come to fruition, what does that mean to you? It's huge. Um, I, I never saw myself sitting in this position. I Having the ability to give back and so many people don't have that platform. And fortunately enough for us, we have that platform. And for us to be able to share the pain, the suffering, mm -hmm. the, the laughing moments, the, it, it's, it in, encapsulates every emotion. Mm -hmm. And for us to have the privilege to share, to be sitting here with you sharing, 
uh, I, the words can't can't describe. I people don't know, and we feel like they need to know what happened on that day. What happens on a daily basis when you're you know putting yourself on the line, you know for for people you don't even know. For I never met any of those guys, and to be able to to give them justice, to give them. A, a voice, right. in a way, uh, is is instrumental and huge, and I'm just I'm just honored to be a part of it.